Gary Light and welcome to Access All Areas. A big round of football over the weekend with plenty to talk about and the man with me to chat through all the footy issues as he is every Monday is Damien Barrett. Welcome, Damo. Hey, guys. A lot to get through this morning mm. and I want to start with Adelaide because they've got renewed hope. Tex Walker is back, third game back and it gives them a chance, I reckon, to actually do something in 2014. Well, it is great to see, isn't it? Big forward back. I think the most eye-catching thing about Tex's return is how well he's moving, um, how well he's been able to get to the footy, he's sideways movement and he's kicking which has always been a great strength. He kicked five yesterday, he took ten marks and I think the other really significant thing, he spent 92% of the game on the ground. Okay. So it's a great sign and, he, and he's got the strut though, mate. That's yeah. what we love. Look, we were very critical of Adelaide last year, and rightly so, and early this year. Again, we didn't know where they were at. But with him back in the team, I think anything could happen. I'm not saying premierships, but they could really push. Well, I think anything could happen if they had Tippett, Gunston and Walker. That would be a nice combination. But it is great to see him back. He's good for footy. Hey, um, yesterday, GWS versus Hawthorne at the uh, traditional time of 4.40 on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> at the MCG. Uh, lots out. That yep. means lots come in. And a couple stood up. Gus Litherland. Yep. Uh, a lot of people, you included Damon, didn't even know who he was. Um, he played in the back half and was magnificent, particularly in the last quarter when the Giants looked like causing the upset of the, of the century. Well, it wasn't just him. Mitch Hallahan was another. And, guys, the, the guys they had in, it, yeah. it was a very non-traditional Hawthorne. Uh, I thought it was Box Hill when I tuned in at one stage. Different jumper. I thought, hello, we've got a VFL game on at the MCG. Uh, Litherland, Cheney, Langford, Simpkin, Sed Segler, Hallahan, Duray, Billy Hartung um, playing only uh, two or three games so far. And look, it's testament to their depth, um, but it was a very, it was unlike any Hawthorne side we've seen for a long time. They played poorly. They got away with it yesterday against mm -hmm. GWS, who was good. We'll look at them in, in a moment. Can they sustain good form with the, without their coach and with those list of players you've just rattled off? Oh, that, I don't think that side that we saw yesterday is going to be able to compete. Uh, they were great against Port Adelaide a couple of weeks ago, but I don't think they're going to win games against the top four or five, so they want to get some quality back into that side. A lot of big side. names still out. Oh, hey, uh, GWS, you, you've been red hot on how yep. badly they've been going. You wanted to just uh, highlight uh, their turnaround yesterday, but also raise a few questions. Just on contested ball and tackles, you know, key... Well, the, 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 those two areas are mental above the shoulders, Damo. They, they contested possession 156, almost 50% more than their West Coast Eagles and Richmond game. Yep. And then those tackles against Hawthorne uh, are up 21. 103 tackles in a game of footy is incredible. Um, and that just tells you it is a bad attitude. And people say, did they earn respect? Well, I'd almost argue the other way that you could almost lose respect. And I know that's particularly harsh, but it says to me, what the hell was going on with those boys? Don't take too much away. They, they just the, push the team that's second on the ladder as it stands. In the previous two weeks, I say, what was going on? And I know young sides are going to have the variable, but that has to be the standard for that GWS side. So I watch with interest in the coming weeks. Um, Eagles North Melbourne, another traditional yep. uh, AFL slot of Sunday night. You love it, I don't. I, thought it was, I like the Sunday night slot, actually, far better than, than Monday. But again, good result for North, but mm. uh, they need to back it up. They've now gone to Perth twice for wins. They've gone to Sydney for a win. Unbelievable. And they're the only team to beat Port Adelaide. And yet we still, right, right now, mm. I don't think we know much more about them, do we? No, they're schizos. No doubt about that. They need more of this sort of stuff. Uh, Luke McDonald, first year player, unbelievable attack on the footy. This is courage personified. And what that does is every other player in a North Melbourne jumper now says, well, not that they didn't, but just says, I am absolutely happy to go and take the field and get uh, with you alongside us in any game that we play. West Coast, just flat track bullies and rule them out. Uh, continue to be six goals from 52 inside 50s with Darling, with uh, Nat Newey, with uh, Kennedy. There's something going wrong there. Yep. Something's really wrong, more wrong at Richmond, guys. Uh, they've already lost the, the seven matches this year, which is the, what they lost for the entirety of last Look year. At some of these efforts, though, mate. I know Ivan Marich is back. Um, first game for a long time, but that's not good enough. I mean, this was right in the first quarter. This is arguably the worst passage of play of the year, if not the decade. They got a free yeah. kick. They got advantage. So he goes, I'll go left foot into the centre corridor. Yeah. I mean, that just sucked the life out of everyone, including Damien Hardwick. Uh, misses from goal from Sean Hampson. I think last week, I think they took read too much into it, uh, Richmond. I heard a lot well, of noise. Well, being with GWS, yeah. why yeah. would you read too much into because it? Because that's that footy club right now, and that's where they're at. You raised the heat on that man there, Trent Cochin, and yeah. his leadership. Yeah, well, and leadership as a footy club in general, I reckon. Um, it, it seems to be lacking. The players put it on the agenda. No one else mm -hmm. did. They want you to be harder. They want the coach to be harder. Well, the coach has referred a couple of times in the past few weeks to the Richmond way. Mm. We've got to get back to the Richmond way. 
What is the Richmond way? Because it's not working. Yeah, no, they don't. They've got to get they've got to get their standards much higher than that. The Richmond way has provided them three final series in 33 years. That's not successful footy. Club. What was he referring to the Richmond way? Well, whether he's referring to last year when they won 15 games, uh, made a final series, and whether that was enough for Richmond or not uh, remains to be seen. It would seem they've been pretty content and sat back over summer and. The players haven't been able to regather uh, that energy and aggressiveness and hunger. Mm. So uh, if that's the Richmond way, it's not, it wasn't a great way. It got you into a final series, and that's it. So they've got to raise the standard. The tone was set really early on, wasn't it, with Dustin Fletcher running down the ground for a, a very... They made you sit in the lounge room. You're going, who's on Fletcher? It's 19 minutes 30. It's only going to go in 28 seconds. So what we've been able to do exclusively yes. uh, is with the, uh, our special vision that's available to us. This is Fletcher, and that's young Ben Lennon. Right. Only second game. Now, Ben Lennon goes, oh, I'm going to take this man on the inside rather than the most dangerous man on the outside. You yeah. can see the bloke. He was trying to cover two men, but in the end, Ben Lennon has to say, no, who's going to be the most dangerous? It's harsh to highlight Ben Lennon out of that. No, it's not. That's the standard yeah. I'm talking about, Damo. Seven other you, guys out there who could have covered you. You as a coach should go in and say, oh, second game, or I'll let you off. Me would say, no, this is the standard, not good enough. So there you go. Um, Revolt. Jack Revolt is an interesting character. He is. Isn't he? Kicked he is. 11 last week. Uh, Look, I reckon this sums him in the club a little bit. He's... he's Taking a shot here, guys, at someone in, in the stands. But to me, it sums them up because if you're going to do it, do it. Don't what? half do it. What do you mean, do it? Oh, someone was giving him some whip behind you, the, you the want, goals. You want him to drill that at 100 like, miles like an hour, do you? But if you're going to do it, do it. Don't, don't sort of half do it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that. that's quite funny from e you. Exclusive access, uh, mm -hmm. all areas, uh, footage mm -hmm. just showed there. Let's mm -hmm. have a look at the Stills team here at uh, the AFL. They've uh, picked oh, up this Oh, I like it. Uh, this is why our team's the best in the business. Uh, a Mikey card for you, Jack. Uh, this is uh, for the train trip home after the game. Hey, Bomber Thompson was interesting post game. Yeah. Um, he's talking to Cameron Ling about uh, the future of both of those people. Let's have a listen to what he said. I'd have him, but I don't. Would you come? I won't be here, so. You won't be here. <laughs> you can have my job. Well, you're the newsman. Did your ears prick up then? I felt he won't be there all the way through. But if Heard comes back, Bomber Thompson won't be there. And, and I would think that there's, obviously, and as we've been saying on this show for some time, there is a lot of doubt about Heard coming back. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't think Bomber's going to be there next yeah. year in any form, no. And that, look, him talking Cameron Lynn like that... Throw away, throw away. It was away, throw away, right. yeah, but it's, it fits in with what people around that club have been saying for, for some time. Well, what do we do with Carlton? What, I mean, what do you do with this footy club? They won four or five games. They go against the bottom side in the competition. Games in the balance. They're up by three points. Jared Wright, uh, Wait decides to bowl over Tommy Rockcliffe and he's, give away 50. He's very much like Wait, but he's a little bit unlucky there, isn't he? Touch unlucky. A touch unlucky. Now, yeah. Um, what? Should he have passed to Henderson, which we'll hold it in a minute, but this is the other undisciplined act well, here. That, that's the thing I'd be critical about. That is just uh, giving an umpire excuse to give a free kick away. You'll get off. I would argue you kick the goal. You're good enough. That is what you're paid you to do. You don't kick it to Henderson who's sitting there by himself. You like... could. You yeah, absolutely could. But, I mean, don't, let's not let him off the hook for missing the goal. It, yep. was, it was 25 metres out directly in front. So, yes, Henderson was there. Kick the goal, yep. Chris Yaron. You're supposed to be the most skilled player in the competition. Yep. We're highlighting a few tricks of uh, our players with their, their oh, footwork, guys. That's what they're doing. And this has never come a weekly feature. Yeah. This is the third week in a row we've seen this. Little Billy Hartung this time, who logs on every Monday morning at about 11.30, and he's, uh, he's seen a couple of foot tricks. He said, I'm getting in on the act. Kieran Jack had done it, and Harley Burnell, that's who right. I think was the best one. But yeah, well, that's not bad. That was magnificent. Degree of difficulty quite yeah, high. Josh Hill mucked muck it up. Uh, Bradley Hill mucked uh, Which hill is it? One of those hills, isn't Bradley it? Hill. Bradley, Bradley Hill, Hill. mucked it up. Uh, Matt Thomas, uh, look, he's had an OK year, but his team isn't. But he's copped a nasty one here, guys. Well, Damo, the reaction from Matt Thomas is exactly what all men would do after copping a full-blooded Joey Danaher kick to the old Murray bag, and then he goes, right. What is Danaher doing, by the way? I don't know, <laughs> but look at this. This is my favourite. He says, I'm crook, I'm crook. And he says, how bad are you? He says, I oh, know, I better count them. <laughs> no, no, they're both still there, so uh, I'm going to get away with that. Hey, uh, I've been talking about Adelaide Oval as you like um, the number one venue going around. Not the number one. Even though you haven't been there. But... This. I haven't been here either, but that brings a tear to your eye. I'd go I and sit it. in that tree. That <laughs> takes me back to the Coyabram Recreation Reserve. Sit in the tree, <laughs> get up there, get a great view. Uh, that's Tregear Park, Alice Springs. That then you worked, didn't it? Oh, it was beautiful. In that daytime scheduling. That trot was magnificent. Yep. That's where they should be playing footy up there. Now, Dawson Simpson had a shot at goal yep. on the weekend, guys, from the boundary. This is where Stevie Jay's made his name, and you can see he wants it here, guys. He says, give it to me. You're a six foot ten <laughs> ruckman. You're not kicking this. Give it to me. <laughs> Dawson says, no, I'll have a crack at it. <laughs> and kicks it, and you reckon Stevie was happy with it? 
Stevie Motloff said, what were you doing, Stevie? And he said, well, he's a ruckman. He kicked that one out of 100. I'd kick it 80 out of 100. He should have given it to me. And Stevie says, no, he shouldn't have. So there you go. I like not, it. Not bad from you. I'm a little worried about the advocating violence by drilling them into the, the cheer squad. In the no, back. if you're going to do no, it, that's do what it you're Don't half do it. I don't it. like that. Don't half do Email it. Email in the day, mate, if you've got a problem with that. Thanks for, oh, thanks for joining us. Keep clicking back to afl.com.au for more news and great video content throughout the week. Now, next week, we'll catch you on a Tuesday because of the Queen's birthday Monday clash. It's going to be a big one, too, between the D's and the Pies. So keep an eye out for access all areas on the Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.